Okay, I hope you've had a chance to actually have a look at this problem, okay? Um, so let's work it together. So look, I'm going to define a mesh current here, I1, another mesh current here, I2, all right? So let's uh, have a look at the I1 mesh. All right, so here we go. Going around in this direction, what do we have? We have 2I, we have a minus I1, times 4, and then we have a minus, open up a bracket, this will be I1 minus I2, and that's times 6, and all of that is equal to 0. All right, let's note here that, look, I2 over here, there's I2, it's the same as this little I current here, isn't it? So we'll write that down. So the I is the same as really I2. Okay, and we can put this into here, can we not? So if we do that, what, what have we got? We've got 2, I2, and then it's a minus 4, I1, and then just opening this up, that's a minus what? 6, I1, minus times a minus is what? A plus, so that's plus 6, I2, and all of that is equal to 0. Okay, so let's collect our terms together and maybe we'll take the I1s to the other side. So how many I2s do we have? Well we have 8 I2s and that is equal to what? Taking that to the other side, uh, that is what? A 10 I1. Okay, and so we can say from this then that if I divide both sides by 10, I can say that we have 0 0.8 I2 is equal to I1. Okay, so I've got I1 in terms of really I2. So now let's work on the I2 mesh. I2 mesh. All right, going in this direction, what do we have? Well, we have a minus, open a bracket, I2 minus I1, that's times what, six, and then Going around, we have a minus I2 times 5, and then a drop here, minus a 2, all equals a 0. All right, let's expand this guy out here. So what have we got? We've got a minus 6 I2. Uh, minus times a minus is a plus, so that's a plus 6 I1, isn't it? We've got our minus 5 I2s sitting there and really taking that 2 to the other side, all of that is equal to 2. Okay. All right. We have found an expression, haven't, have we not, for really I1 in terms of I2. Okay, so we could substitute in here. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we've got a minus 6 I2 and then we've got a plus 6 bracket here. Um, this is my I1 over here, isn't it? Which is what? 0 0.8 I2. And then I've got my minus 5 I2. All of that is equal to 2. Yep. Okay. So look, if I work this out in terms of how many I2s I've got, I have actually a minus 6.2 I2s, and that is equal to two. Okay, so I can find I2, can I not? And I can say now that I2 is really equal to this two divided with a minus there, of course, divided by that 6.2, and that is equal to a minus 0 0.322, bit of rounding there, okay? We can now find I1 by putting this into our expression here. And so I1 is equal to 0 0.8, and that is multiplied by this minus 0 0.322. And that gives me an I1, if you care to work that out, of about minus 0 0.258 amps, okay? All right, so what is it that we're trying to find here? 
Well, we're really trying to find this voltage plus minus, aren't we, which we're calling V. That's the voltage we're really trying to find, okay? So we can say that voltage V is really equal to, uh, open up a bracket, this is going to be I1, isn't it, minus the I2 multiplied by that 6. Okay, so let's put the I1 and I2 in here, and what do we have? We've got the I, where's I1? There's the I1, so my bracket, minus 0 0.258, that is my I1, and then I'll put my I2 in there, so it's a minus, and I2 was a minus, so it's a minus times a minus, which becomes a plus, and that's a 0 0.3. 2, 2, close the bracket here, and what is that? That's multiplied by 6. So if we work this out, we get this voltage V being equal to, again, a bit of rounding, it is going to be 0 0.383 volts, okay? So that's using a mesh analysis approach on this circuit. So look, now let's use the Thevenin approach, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to call this terminal A and this terminal B. And if you remember from the previous module, we'd actually Thevenize this, hadn't we? Okay, so we're going to replace this with that Thevenin equivalent. You remember what that was? If, if not, go back and have a look at that module again. But basically all of this was replaced with a single resistor value of that resistor was 1.2 ohms. There are my terminals A and B. And then of course I'll reattach my load, which is this 5 ohm and voltage source over here. So we'll put that back in like so. So there it is, 5, and we've got our 2 volts sitting here like this. And what are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find that voltage V, are we not? So how do we find this voltage V? It's a very simple circuit now, isn't it? And so really that voltage V at those terminals there is equal to 1.2 divided by the sum of the two, which is 1.2 plus 5 multiplied by that 2 volts. And if we work that out, that comes out to be, again, a bit of rounding. That's going to be 0.38 seven, okay? And you'll see that this answer is very close uh, to what we just did before, and the only difference is really due to, due to rounding, all right? So that's an example then that takes you through the complete analysis of this circuit using mesh analysis, and then using the Thevenin equivalent, coming up with a much simpler circuit over here to determine that voltage V. All right. Hope this helps and I'll see you next time.